Hello, my friends. I am here at Allendale Machinery Systems with my good friend, Neil. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about automation, specifically in this instance, collaborative automation. So Neil, please let us know to our global audience what we have going on here. So what we have here is we have a, a Haas DM2 with a Thana collaborative robot loading parts into a, a five axis rotary table. Uh, what we're trying to show here is that automation is within reach um, of most customers. Uh, it's, it's something that you don't need to be manufacturing thousands of parts every day of the same part year over year over year. It's really um, something for the job shops, which is our typical customers, really trying to bring it to anyone that's looking to grab two, three, four hours unattended time to allow that machine operator to do some more value added tasks such as um, setting up jobs elsewhere or um, doing calibrations of tools and doing inspection of parts coming off the machines. So you brought up that these batch sizes can be a little bit smaller. So I think probably we would want to know how easy is it to switch from one program to another program with this collaborative robot? So we like to tell customers it's very similar to changing over a job on CNC. So you're gonna load your program, you're gonna go change some of your work holding. So in this case, it may be the um, end effectors on the arm and then maybe the uh, layout for the uh, raw material uh, on the uh, base. Uh, other than that, once um, you've really proved out the programs, it's like any other CNC program, you do a few touch off points and you're moving. Um, we've seen some people change over as little five minutes if the raw material is the same to maybe 15 to 20 minutes um, with a, uh, an existing program. And uh, what we're really trying to get uh, our customers understand is it's we're not really going for automation, we really have tried to call it machine tending. Just like you have um, a bar loader, it's as simple as that. You're, you know, you have a, a bar loader that's bringing raw material into the machine, uh, allows your operator to go do other projects, um, and you know, along with a bar loader, how many different part sizes and stock sizes do customers uh, use in the same bar loader? And the changeover is relatively easy, and that's what we're trying to show and um, help our customers understand. Yeah, it's important. I, th I think that's very important. And if I have, say, an existing Haas machine right mm -hmm. now, can I then utilize one of these collaborative robots on an existing machine, or do I need to buy them together at one time? So most of our installations so far have been on existing machines in the fields. Um, it's a fairly simple install. Usually we're in and out within two to three days, and that's a full installation and training on your first program. Uh, some obviously will go a little bit longer just uh, if, if we're doing more parts or um, the complexity of the program for the customer. Um, for us, it's we really do like adding it to existing equipment because it allows a customer to gain that productivity on equipment they've already purchased. Um, if, you, if you can take a machine that's running six hours of the day and now it can run 10 or 12, um, it's a great investment in the equipment you already have on the floor. And typically, the, um, the collaborative cells will come in uh, less expensive than your typical spindle for for most customers. So it really is a great bang for their buck. So if someone wants to learn more about Allendale, where can they find you? Where can they look up website, social media? So the, the best place to go is our website and that's uh, allendalemachinery.com. From there it has all the links to our social media pages. It has links to our uh, video uh, site where we have uh, all the videos we've produced over the years. Uh, we've really try to do more and more uh, with customer testimonials and uh, help videos for for our customers and you know just some of our general open house videos um, and our goal you know moving forward is we're going to continue adding to that um, what we're really looking to do is is provide a library of content for customers to use uh, during their everyday um, running of their machine shops without having to constantly call and, and get a hold of somebody you know the idea is to have those quick 30 second videos that may help a guy out and get them up and running without having to make that phone call or get a service engineer in. Neil, thank you so much for you. You know, sharing your story, a little bit of the company history. I'd love to learn more about that myself. Um, but thank you for being a part of MTD Global. And guys, I hope you have learned something as well. Thank you, appreciate it.